Hi, today we're going to work on kind of a fun project. This is something I do several times a week. I, I, I create a lot of social media ads and um, ads for an online newsletter that I edit. And um, for that type of online ad, you, you need to uh, just have a, a reasonably decent looking uh, photograph. Um, if it was magazine advertising or something, that would be different. But for a quick internet ad, you just need sort of what you want to have. So um, let's get started on this project. I'm going to start with a curious little cat, a happy little fish, and a fish bowl. Um, obviously, I'm going to put the fish in the fish bowl, and then the cat will be behind the fish bowl looking in at the fish. So if you're watching this video several years from now and um, you're seeing me do this, you might think, why don't you just use AI? Right now, AI is just not quite there for doing things like this that you want something exactly the way you want. So Corel Draw and Clip Art is the way I do it. These are all clip art from free websites that um, allow you to use photographs. Uh, there are numerous uh, websites like this, um, but uh, these two are pings, the cat and the fish. So they conveniently already have their backgrounds removed. If we had to remove the backgrounds, that would be an extra step, but I've done a few videos showing how I would do that using vector objects, which is one of my favorite ways to delete a background. Uh, I'll probably do some more videos about that in the near future. Now the fishbowl is a JPEG, which means it does not have a transparent background. So, so what that means is if I try and put my fish in it, you can't see it because it's in the back. So if I bring my fish to the front, that looks pretty good. That's kind of what I had in mind uh, because the glass is clear, so the fish would look like this in the fishbowl. Now the cat, on the other hand, I want him in the back of the fishbowl and that's not going to work either. So I need to be able to see through the fishbowl. So let's see how we might do that. Um, I'm going to go over here. I got the fishbowl selected. I'm going to go over here to my transparency tool. Right there, that little wine glass down here. And um, give it a transparency and the default is at 50 I'm gonna make it a little bit less transparent now if you've ever seen an object behind a fishbowl you may think that this isn't really how it would look but for a photograph like this it gives it a little bit of a realistic look like it really looks like the cat is behind the fishbowl uh, but he's not looking at the fish so I'm just gonna go ahead and mirror him like that and that's how we want him to look now I can put the cat anywhere I want but I think he looks sort of cute with one of his eyes outside and one inside kind of like that yeah that looks pretty much like what I had in mind I'm gonna do one more thing since remember this fishbowl is transparent and the transparency is also applied to the dark areas, which I really would like to be the original photograph so that it looks a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to copy it. Remember what the resolution is. It's only 60 on here uh, because I'm doing this at a fairly large size, but you'd use a higher resolution. Anyway, copy it and paste it right here. Uh, copy and paste, or you can use keyboard shortcuts. Now we have two fish bowls, and the top one, I do not want a transparency, and I'll tell you why in a moment. So I go back to my transparency and click none, which is the original, but there's two on top of each other. Now, um, since I removed the transparency, uh, I can't remember if I did this already, if I did it twice, forgive me. Convert to bitmap, 60, I'll keep the same uh, resolution, RGB, 
right there. And remember, I have two. One is transparent or semi-transparent. The other one is not. All right, so if I go to Edit Bitmap, that takes me to Corel Photo Paint. And what I want to do in here is get rid of all the white areas of the photo, leaving only those dark shadow parts, the water line and the, the, the outside of the bowl, the, the base and everything. Um, the way I'm going to do that, in this case, so I'm going to go up here to my mask tool. I'm going to create a mask using my magic wand. And that detects edges. Now, magic wand has a tolerance, which in this case is fairly high contrast. So I want a fairly high tolerance to get rid of as much white and keep as much of the dark as possible. So I've already messed around with this. This is a pretty high tolerance, 37. Um, but we shall see what happens when I click on it with my magic wand. And that looks pretty good. All these dark blue areas are what I'm going to keep. The white parts, what I'm going to get rid of by clicking Control X, which is also the, the keyboard shortcut for cut, the little cut thing. Now this green is what I've set for the transparency, so that just represents the clear parts of the photo. At this point, I'm going to close out of Corel Photo Paint, leave contents, I'm going to say no. Save changes to bitmap, yes. And that puts my clear bowl in front of my semi-transparent bowl and you can see it saved some of these highlights as darker than the transparent fishbowl which gives the whole thing a little bit of a more realistic look now i'm going to say for what i'm doing that's going to be fine let me get, move the cat out a little bit um if you've ever taken any design courses you know that position of objects is important for instance, this fish is pretty much in the middle of his fishbowl, and it would make the design look a little better if we put him a little off-center. You don't really want anything in the very center of anything because it directs your brain to begin looking toward the center rather than looking at the whole photograph. Anyway, once again, if you're watching this in the future, which you are, but in the, a couple years into the future, um, you may be able to achieve this using AI right now. I just don't, at least what I've explored of it, it's just not quite there yet. So I prefer to create my own photos using what I can find as clip art. And you'd be surprised. Let's make sure he's in the front. Give me a little more on here. There you go. That, for me, is going to work, and um, that was kind of fun. I hope you enjoyed it, too. Practice with some of these techniques. You can create a lot of photos. You know, if you want some food or something, and you want it on a plate, I do that all the time for, for ads for uh, my club. And, um, yeah, it really makes it easier to look for what you want, and it doesn't have to be a complete photo. You can create your own because you know how to use Corel Draw and curl photo paint so practice with these and i hope your next project goes well